Paragraph 2 related to question number 19 and 20 is quite a beautiful concept. It is a strip which carries current I in this direction and it is uniformly distributed. Now what happens see the strip is of length L, width W, thickness D, K is the inner face and M is the outer face. A uniform field B is applied along positive Y. In the current carrying conductor, magnetic field is applied. Due to this, charges appear in PQRS and opposite charges in opposite face of PQRS. Why would that happen? Let's see. Here the current carrier is electron. Current in this direction, that means electrons would be moving in this direction. And quite obviously, if you see the magnetic force given by Q V cross B, that force would be in the outward direction. V cross B would be inward, but since the charge is negative, that would be in the outward direction. In other words, when the current is moving in this direction and magnetic field is applied, the drifting electrons would be deflected sidewise. As a result, this side would be negatively charged, this side would be positively charged. That is what the statement means. So what happened? The current was flowing, suddenly we applied magnetic field that drifted the charges and the front face and the back face will have opposite charges. And then a PD along Z is thus developed. You could see in this direction the potential difference would be developed. The charge accumulation continues until Fm equals to Fe. Now this is quite interesting thing. The magnetic force drifts the electrons in this direction but the side effect of that an electric field would also be developed and the electric force would be in the opposite direction. So just think for an electron which was moving in this direction initially it gets a magnetic force in this direction due to which polarity would be developed but that polarity would soon lead to electric field as well. And now an electric force would be developed in the opposite direction. A time will come when magnetic force and electric force will equalize and after that the drift of charges in the sidewise direction would be stopped. But when that happens you could see easily we can calculate that QVB would be equals to QE. Q gets cancelled. V is of course the velocity. Electric field in this direction that can always be written as capital V potential difference by distance along this direction and that is W. So from here we could make the conclusion that the potential difference would be obviously B V multiplied by W. B being the magnetic field, V being the velocity, W of course this particular width. Now based on that question number 19 says these two strips are of same material, length is same and same current is passed but the thickness D1 and D2 are different, width are different. Now the question says V1 and V2 are the PD between K and M, the front face and the back face in 1 and 2 and based on that we got to relate these expressions. So let's try to see beginning from here, let me erase this now I do not require. What we will get is that the potential difference is B V W and V is the drift velocity which will be I upon N E A and A would of course be D multiplied by W and that would be W. So that gets cancelled. So the potential difference would be B I by N E D and clearly you could see that this potential difference is not dependent on W. Now let us see if W1 is W2 that fairly does not matter at all D1 equals to 2 D2. So if D1 is twice of D2 V1 has to be half of V2, so quite obviously option A is correct. 
So, in this situation option B would be incorrect. Next, W is really immaterial and if D1 is equal to D2, then V2 has to be equals to V1. So, quite obviously, option number D would also be correct. So, for this comprehension, we will be having correct option as A and D. One, should, one thing you should be very, very clear that the comprehension may have more than one option so that you have to check each and every options meticulously. Now, let us go for question number 20. Question number 20, two strips 1 and 2 having the dimension same, length L, width W, depth D. But the carrier densities are different, indicating made up of different materials, kept in different magnetic field and V1, V2 are the potential difference developed between the front and the back face. And the current is also same. In this regard, we got to compare all these things. We again begin from the same thing. So, we will have the potential difference is B V W that is B by I upon N E A W D and W. Now, you could see here the magnetic field is different, the carrier density is different, rest all are same. So, therefore, potential difference would be directly proportional to B by N. So, now it becomes a very easy deal and you can easily verify this will lead you to option A and C. So, question number 20 has correct option as these A and C. So, students, these were the solutions and discussions of JE Advance paper 2 physics. Hope this were helpful. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.